incredible looking car there. So this is the BMW X7, the three litre diesel with the 40D, which is the 340 brake horsepower. Superb sound, great mass per gallon, and it just pulls like a train, literally. Now the X7 is the biggest four wheel drive BMW produced. It's a seven seater, lots of ground clearance, great styling and a very comfortable car. In my opinion, it's like a seven series, but the four wheel drive version, the big monster thing. Now this is a 2022-22 registration with 6,900 miles on. The car's in a color called carbon black, which is a very, very dark shade of blue, almost looks black. It is the M Sport, but then it's got massive specification. The X7s do come very well spec as standard, but then this one's got the Comfort Plus Pack, the M Sport Plus Pack. And I'll show you as I go around, it's, it's phenomenal. From the front, you've got this humongous front grille, what you call the BMW kidney grills, finished in chrome with a satin finish as well. You've then got the BMW LED daytime running lights and the BMW LED full headlights, which are adaptive. This car then has adaptive active cruise control. You've got all the black inserts around the air vent, front rear parking sensors, and the 360 degree camera system. You've then got the color coded side vendors here and the 22 inch upgraded alloy wheels, which are diamond cut with a high gloss black on the inserts. And you have the blue M Sport brake calipers, followed by the black air breathers, M badging, and the high shadow line, line window surround. Sun protection glass, comfort access, which means you can get into the car and out of the car without the keys physically being on you. And you've got soft closed doors. So you don't need to slam the doors. When they click, they're softly closed by themselves. This car then has the ivory leather interior with a perforated seat, full electric seats, heated seats, and ventilated seats. The amazing looking ambient lighting pack, that lovely wood interior inlays, heated steering wheel, the M Sport steering wheel, and you've got the touchscreen media system, which is navigation, DB digital radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This car then has the full tilt and sliding panoramic roof, and you've also got massaging seats. How good is this? If you look in here though, you've also got can cooler and coffee warmer down there, see where it goes blue and red. USBs, air suspension, the iDrive system, and the different drive modes for sport, sport plus comfort and eco. Lots of leather, there's leather everywhere, so it's good quality, it feels nice and flush, and then the roof lining is all finished in Alcantara as well. Just a great car, you sat nice and high, but they're super comfortable and they're super smooth. Now remember this is a seven seater, so you've got heated seats and ventilated seats in the front. You've got heated seats in the piping. You've got lovely black piping going on here on the inserts and that's lovely as well. The rear seats also do recline ever so slightly. USBs, USCs all over the place. And then on this one, with the third row seating, they're also heated as well. So all seven seats are heated, which is pretty good really. Not seven, because the middle one's not to be fair, so it's six. You've got ISOFIX attachments for all the seats as well. So again, very, very family friendly. That cover there, that hides the stuff. And on this one, you've got the electric blind. It's full of it, it's just amazing. On a 22 registration, you still have the remainder of the manufacturer's warranty till 2025. Round the back, it's nice and big. LED rear lighting system, the electric deployable tow bar, automatic tailgate, M Sport rear bumpers with exhaust fascias, and you've also got the split tailgate. When the seven seats are up, you've still got some boot space, but when the seats are down, you've got a massive boot space. If you're not going to use the tow bar, you press that button electronically to fold away. And to put all the seats down, the buttons are just there, so there's not much fighting or struggle that is needed. More could be whole space underneath here, as you can see, where the net is. Press that button, that lifts up and that closes up. Great colour, great design, very good on running cost. It's a brilliant seven seater. Value for money, it's just tremendous. This is going live now at the best value in the country. Now there's more spec. You've got obviously the massaging seat. You can control the passenger seat from here by pressing that one. The electric windows and mirrors with electric folding mirrors and everything is good material. All that metallic you can see is brilliant. But this one's got heads up display. The heads up display is navigation, how fast it should be going, how fast you are going, Bluetooth details and other useful information. You've then got the professional digital dash here, which displays the navigation, the rev counter, the speedo, the adaptive cruise controllers on this side, volume and stereo controls are here, there's a heated steam wheel, paddle shift, and then as for the camera system, in high definition, you can see exactly where you're going, every angle, because the seat's unlocked in the back. I give up with that one. Centre armrest, 
more USC in there and more Kubi Hall space. 6,900 miles, carbon black, BMW X7 M Sport 40D. With the 22 inch alloys, Comfort Plus Pack, M Sport Plus Pack, the electric deployable tow bar, it just doesn't get much better. A cracking seven seat diesel car. Thanks for watching, bye bye.